Hey everybody, this is Billy. I just got through cleaning up my 60G John Deere excavator and thought I'd give y'all a tour. But first I wanted to say that we are fixing to take care of that beaver dam with eight pounds of tannerite. This is the beaver dam right here and it goes down to that creek with just a little bit of that water's overflowing. Okay, here's the tannerite. We're gonna blow up that dam and you don't wanna miss this one. And make sure you subscribe. All right, back to the excavator. And I'll talk about my likes and dislikes. Uh, so let's start off with the likes. One thing I do like about it is the thumb. And it'll hold anything that I can pick up. This thing has more power than it has weight to hold it to the ground. And it has done everything I've asked for it to do, ask it to do. Uh, it has been an incredible machine. Uh, it's just wide enough, it'll take down a pretty good sized tree. It handles my moisture, which is about a thousand pounds. I can stretch it all the way out. It's just an incredible machine. Uh, it flows to the hydraulic flump, to the hydraulic mulcher. It flows 24 gallons a minute, 24 point something gallons a minute, which is plenty. Uh, and it will mulch just about anything I can put it onto. It's a decent sized machine. This is on the upper end of a mini excavator. And it is incredibly strong. do have a straight blade. I wish it was angled, but it's not too big of a problem and, it, and it's, it'll push dirt as much as you can pile up in front of it. Uh, it's pretty easy to tie down on the trailer. Uh, and it, it's got tinted windows, which I, which I do like. And the air condition is cold, which I do like, especially in this Texas heat. It is, a great machine and it's got a let's go back here and these will lock and I do keep it locked but I've, it's, it's a 53 horse Yamar engine non aspirated and which I really do like which it was if it had a turbo on it you'd be pushing it to the max and being non-turbo I think it'll last longer and it has plenty of power without it and it is uh, very easy just to check the oil it's right here to add oils here change oil here and this is a fuel filter here and on this other side over here The air breather is really is easy to get to. You can just pull it out, dust it out, blow it out, and you're back to go. It's got these screens in here protecting the air conditioner, coil, and the radiator, and the oil cooler. So that's great. And it's got another uh, oil fil I mean, uh, fuel filter here, which is also a water uh, catcher. So that's good, too batteries right here everything's good here and i really hadn't had to work on it uh it's just been an excellent machine and over here i can i can see my oil i can see my oil hydraulic oil right here without even having to open up anything. And this is where you add hydraulic oil, which is not too bad at all. And right here is where you put the diesel in. And it holds 31 gallons. And you know, in an eight hour day, I don't burn, but probably about 17, 18 gallons. And I can run almost two days on it. So that's not bad at all. So, and that gets me to the fuel tank, which I'll show you in a minute. The 
very easy to open up. And it's lockable. This was lockable. It does, it does come with an extra counterweight. I'm not sure, I think it weighs about five, 600 pounds. But it's, it helps out a lot. And my tracks are a little bit wider than most excavators. I don't know exactly, it looks like it's about 16 inches wide or so. And up, and up here it does give you all the, the grease points, the oil fills, oil checks and stuff like that. And over here it'll tell you what, which one of them is. And here's where I hook up my mulcher up to. And this is a converter valve. If I wanted to put it, my mulcher on it, I'll turn this this way until it stops and it'll put the flow in here. And the same thing on the other side. I'll, ju I'll just turn this this way until this meets this notch and, and plug in the uh, mulcher on this side too. And I'm ready to go. Oh, one more thing. Then I come over here and I turn this valve this way and it turns it into a two-way valve where you can run your thumb and this one turns into a jackhammer. And what this one does, it just, it flows straight back to the tank. And that is a real positive. That way I ain't had to flow that fluid through my uh, valve the second time. Get my dog Bendy. Oh. 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 <laughs> okay. And these are the hoses that I hook up. And you can't get them wrong. Because it's, it's, it's the hydraulic, and, hydraulic motor in this only flows one way. It's not reversible. And this is my mulcher. And I really like this thing. It, it mulches uh, small trees, downs, around creek banks. I can reach this thing just about anywhere. And that thing spins somewhere around 2400 RPMs a minute. Okay. And if you want to see this thing run, I'll pop it up on the screen either here or here. And you can go watch that video. And finish watching this one before you check that out. <laughs> okay. And if you're interested in what it is, it's a Prenoff mulcher. And it's a M450E. And these are chains right here just catch, for catching debris. And this is the trailer I haul it on. Of course, now I've got some drill stem pipe on another project that I've got. But this is my fuel tank. And it's a 36 gallon a minute tank. I mean, so I'm sorry. And it's a 36 gallon tank. So I can fill up that excavator one time. And like I said, it'll run about 17, 18 gallons on eight hours. So with this and what's in the tank, I can run three days. All right, now let's go check out the inside of the excavator. Come on in. Now this thing just about has everything that you'd want. And it's the right size. It's very comfortable to sit in here if you're sitting in here eight hours. You got a windshield wiper in case it starts raining because I inside here you ain't worried about it. Here's just one of the air conditioner vents. Got a horn. Uh, here's my paddles, which I have plenty of room. 
as you can tell. And then here's my foot swing, which swings the the just part and make it like a backhoe. I don't never use it, so I just keep this folded down. And this is and here's a cup holder. And it'll hold a small bottle or a big bottle, which is great. And this is control for my blade, my push blade, which I'm pushing dirt in the front of the in front of the uh, excavator. And of course, these are the controls, and they're they're very comfortable. I can sit in here all day long. Okay. To engage this, you just fold that down all the way, and this controls the excavator part. Okay, if I wanted to open my thumb, just roll it that way. And if I wanted to close it, roll it that way. And here's a button up underneath here. And that's where I hold, uh, I hold this down to run my mulcher. Or if I don't want my mulcher to run slower, I can rotate this and it'll run it. Just, just kind of just put a little bit on it and it'll go for... Uh, it won't spin that fast in case I'm up next to a house or, or the road or something like that that I don't want it just to be throwing stuff. Okay, here's are my air conditioner controls or heater, either one. You can, let me turn it on, I don't know if you can see that or not. But here's, here's my air conditioner. That's my fan. I turn the air, I turn the whole system on here. Turn my air conditioner on here. If I want a heater, I just cut that off and I up my heat here, just like that. I even got a defrost. So that's that. Let me cut that air conditioner back on. And I've got a vent here, here, two that one right there, and one down there. And actually, there's another one down there. And I've got lights i got my windshield wipers and i've got this is if i want to track somewhere real fast i can pop it into uh rabbit mode and it'll go about twice as fast i think it's about three miles an hour these are the speakers just in case they want to put a radio in okay my wife says this is my home away from home which she calls it my toy I'm going to crank it up right quick and just show you how easy it is. Okay, I'm fitting to start it up. And you cannot start it up unless this lever is up. And it'll take all your controls away. And you have to turn turn the key on. And it has to go through it. It says system starting. And that's it. And you just... Just like that. She's ready to go. And there's only a couple things that I do not like. When I'm running my mulcher, I have to hold this button down the whole time. And I have to swap fingers if I'm mulching all day. Or either I have to roll this thing over the all day. I wish it was a uh, cut it on and cut it off situation, but it's not. The other thing that I don't like is it is very heavy and loading it on that trailer and off the trailer, I have to block my trailer up because it will kick the back of my trailer down. But that is good and bad. But the button here is my main, uh, holding this button down all the time is my main dislike. And really, probably my only dislike. This thing has done everything I've asked it to do. Okay, then I've got a, a, a view right here. So I can see if there's a tree or a limb or something like that up there that I can see. Uh, it, it's non-removable. It looks like you could take your screw out and take this out. But I haven't yet and don't plan on doing that. So, and then this, it will fold up. Pull these two, pull these two latches right here. And there we go.
on a nice cloudy pretty day I do like to run with the window up it's just get fresh air it's just so so nice okay and th that's about everything and would I buy another one yes I would buy another one this has been a great machine and y'all be sure to subscribe because we're going to take care of that beaver dam in the next week or two. And y'all don't want to miss that one.